Hey, what's up? In this edit, I'm looking into resolution, uh, 4K versus 1080. So the first thing I'm going to look at is a 4K project. So this project that I've got here is 4K. Um, if you go to Project Properties or Command J, so you'll see here that the resolution is 4096 by 2160. So this is a 4K project. And then the clip that I've got in here at the moment, um, you can see it's the same as the Project Properties. So now if you bring a 1080 clip into this 4K project, I'll show you what happens. So I'm just going to bring this clip in. This is a 1080 clip. I'll drag that in to the timeline. And you can see that it's a 1080 clip over here, 1920 by 1080. So now I have a 1080 clip in the 4K project. And it looks like it's normal. It's um, fitting the 4K size. And how it does that is if you go to the inspector here, and you go down to the bottom, you'll see this spatial conform, and this type at the moment is fit. Spatial conform means that the default is fit, and what that does is that Final Cut will automatically size your clip, or scale your clip, to the project properties. So, even though it's a 1080 clip, um, obviously the size of the resolution isn't the same as a 4K, so it automatically will fit this 1080 clip into the 4K time frame. You do have some options here. You've got three options, fit, fill, and none. So if I click none, you'll notice that the 1080 clip shrinks, okay? And that's because Final Cut Pro isn't resizing or conforming your clip to the project properties. So if I zoom out a little bit more, and if I drag this clip now on top of the 4K clip, you'll see now this is the size of the 1080 clip on top of the 4K clip. So as you can see there, it's quite a big difference, um, the 1080 clip on top of the 4K clip. Um, to make it the size of the 4K, I'm going to manually adjust the scale. And you'll see that I'll have to go in to at least 200%, so about, say, 215 or around there, to actually get the 4K size. Um, this is fine if you're going to view this on like a 1080 screen or whatever, but if you're viewing it on a 4K screen, then this 4K clip, it's, it's going to be fine. But then you'll lose a bit of quality when you get to the 1080 clip. So you've zoomed in um, and you'll be losing a bit of quality. So that's a 4K project showing you what it's like if you put a 1080 clip in to the time frame and how it affects it. Now I'm going to go into a 1080 project. So I've just got one open here. So the project properties here, it's a 1080 project. You can see that by going project properties, and you'll see here, 1920 by 1080. So the clip here that I've got so far in the timeline is a 1080, 1920 by 1080. Now if I put a 4K clip in, to drag that down, you can see that this is 4K by selecting it, and over here, you'll see it's 4096 by 2160. So now I have a 1080 clip and a 4K clip um, in a 1080 project. Again, what Final Cut does is it conforms the clip to the project properties. So it's conforming this 4K clip to the 1080 size. So you'll see here the default is fit, and that's what it's done. If I click None, you'll see that it changes, and it doesn't do any conforming, so it doesn't change the size and it looked like it zoomed in. If I click on transform, this shows you the size of this 4K clip, okay, on top of that 1080 clip. So the benefits of using a 4K clip in a 1080 project is that you can crop out certain aspects of your clip. Um, you've got a lot more to work with. So what I'm gonna do now is I'll just manually scale this to the 1080 clip. So I'll just go over to the scale here, and I'll slide this down. You'll see that I can go to, a, say, around 50%, um, and it is now the size of the 1080 clip. This is what Final Cut does when you have fit uh, selected and spatial conform. It automatically just scales this to fit. So you can manually do it um, if you have none, and then if you do manually do it, that's where you can like crop out certain aspects, and it's still going to have that good quality. That's a quick insight into 4K versus 1080 and when you can use it and uh, what you can do if you have 4K clips in the 1080 time frame. If you find the video helpful, then like, subscribe, or comment. Until next time, cheers.